and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Swain to start the day off with. We got three donation decks that we're going to be playing today. Uh, just going with three decks instead of four because I actually have an appointment to go get my first uh, coronavirus vaccine today. Um, so that'll be uh, interesting how that works out and everything. Hopefully that goes well. But first, we have Sivir Swain. So this one um, looks pretty cool. Like we have, uh, I, th I think we have played Sivir Swain before. So this isn't going to be our first time playing this combination. But we got some real interesting cards in here. Um, this is a Kordak deck. Kordak always does a real good job putting together uh, his decks. And this one looks pretty sweet. Um, so we have Merciless Hunter, which is, which is obviously a great new addition in here. But Merciless Hunter and Sand Spinner together for like the vulnerable stuff. But what I want to kind of talk about is some of these spells we don't really see very much play. We have like Weighted Weight of Judgment, which is kind of a high variance spell. Like there's times like where your opponent has three health champions and you're looking at that you have to kill and you're looking at this Weighted Judgment and you're just like, man, I can't believe I'm playing this card. <laughs> you know, like they play a Draven or an Ezreal, you know, or so, you know, something like that. And you're just like, man, I can't kill it. Or Jinx. Um... But then there's other times that seven damage to a follower that can be awesome. Like think about like Aurelia Azir, um, like they play like those inspiring marshals that you just got to be able to kill those. Like so four mana kill an inspiring marshal, awesome. There's lots of dragons running around, so like screeching dragon or eclipse dragon, four mana to take those down is huge. And then plus seven damage, that's going to do a lot of damage towards leveling up your Swain, where you need to deal uh, just damage in any source whatsoever. And then of course your Swain. Um, also that where you have your 12 non-combat damage to level this thing up. Um, so that, that's going to be an interesting card to see how it plays out. Uh, then we also have two seven mana spells in here, Spirit Fire, Boomerang Blade. Both of these do tons and tons of damage because that's what our champions are about. It's about dealing damage. Swain needs non-combat damage. Sivir needs any kind of damage. Like Spirit Fire does two to every single one of your opponent's units at the end of the round. So if they have four units... That's 8 damage. If they have 6 units in play, that's 12 damage and that levels up Swain by itself. Boomerang Blade's real interesting and ally strikes the strongest and weakest enemies. You get 2 strikes, um, which is a really powerful card, but it's slow speed, it's easy to disrupt. However, we're combining that with both Sivir and Ruin Runner that have Spell Shield. So with the Spell Shield, you're hoping that you're able to be able to put it on and have your unit a little bit more protected. And so like Sivir would do five, like if you put Boomerang Blade on a Sivir, you're doing five damage to both the strongest enemy and the weakest enemy. So 10 total damage. So 10 out of 12 for Swain and then 10 out of your 35 for Sivir. So some pretty interesting spells that we have in here. Um, besides that, just like kind of like some good early Noxus uh, stuff like Dune, Dune Keeper can be either an attacker or even a blocker um, in the late game. Seems so, like House Spider get, get some good blocking in because you can just even block like uh, larger units. You can help turn on Ravenous Flock with those kind of things. All right, so it'll be interesting to try out. Let's go ahead and get to it. Let's let's try some Sivir Swain. We don't have like a lot of card advantage in this deck. I could see playing like some some copy of Whispered Words. Uh, there's not like a lot of things for reputation, but there's like Glory Seeker and Sivir and uh, Ruin Runner, stuff like that. But there is Leviathan at the top end, and you're hoping that uh, your Leviathan obviously draws a Swain alongside with it. Hoping that's enough. Okay, so we're playing against Aurelia Azir. We have the attack token on round five. I think I'm gonna keep this, honestly. All right, so basically we have like Doomkeeper for the first round. For round three, we can wait a judgment. I may wanna save Doomkeeper actually for blocking more than attacking. Yeah, actually maybe I'll play this on round two. And get the blocker. No. I'll just get the... I'll, I'll go and play it now towards the Sivir level up. I kind of thinking, like, maybe they play the Landmark on round two, and then, like, my Sand Soldier blocks their Sand Soldier. See, so, yeah, I don't have anything to play this round. Then we'd have... Weight of Judgment next round, where I hope they play Aurelia next round. 
But I was thinking Weight of Judgment could kill... Um, you know, like sp Sparring Students and Green Glade Duo and things like that also. What do you call that technique? Check out these moves. Next round I can have Spirit Fire. But Spirit Fire doesn't really kill... It doesn't kill Sparring Students. Yeah, it's round end, and so like the sparring students are bigger, so the round end, like the two damage, doesn't doesn't really kill it. So the the problem with going on the the dancing droplet is it just like it really enables their recall on the dancing droplet and just really rewards them for recalling that, which is why I don't really want to use that on the dancing droplet. I know what I'm worth. Yeah, so time bombs and and ravines. I was playing Sivir to block, I guess. Time bombs and ravines, like those work at round start, so those work. And that thing was so big that I <laughs> didn't even get to uh, ravenous flock it. Look what good comes of mortal greed. Steady your heart. I could learn from watching you. Fly true with one heart to another. Not in the best spot. You know, I'd be worried a little bit about. Uh, you know, like they, they have the plus three, plus one. Obviously, we lose. So you have to expect that to be a recall card. Oh well. I must become the leader they need. Oh, they don't create one right now. When I'm summoned around start, if you have the attack token, they don't have the attack token. So they don't get to create that right now. So what's that spell then? What is that spell? It's got to be a recall card. Ah, it's homecoming. Okay. See, I was hoping to get like damage on it, and then I was going to, you know, be able to flock, and then, or like, I was going to be able to ricochet. Sorry, and then if they respond to ricochet, then I flock. Let's see. So they're at this does five damage. It's a living. Business as usual. This pay by the hour. 
And maybe better just do the five damage to them first, and then they have to play Aurelia and block. But then they, they could, like, this could just be a different, better unit to block with. So best case scenario here is they pass the round. That's best case scenario. Pass. 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 That's the best case scenario. Please pass. I dance not to forget, but to remember. They didn't pass. Because it, because if they pass there, then we kill them with the ricochet. Oh, we dealt four damage to them. So close. My homeland. All right, draw a spell. All right, so Dune Keeper is three attackers. Right, just three, okay? Yeah, so I got three blockers, so we're good. GG's. Another victory to fill the coffers. All right, Zoe, Shavana, Aurelian, Soul. Great deck. This will be a tough one. Weight of Judgment kills dragons, so I like that quite a bit. Calling Strike could kill Shavana if we're lucky. And maybe we should keep the Death Sand. Like they play a bunch of two mana three twos. Maybe we should keep. Maybe we should just keep the Death Sand. Also, like have the Death Sand for a three two. Have Calling Strike for Shavana. Weighted Judgment for Screeching Dragon. Let's see that kind of plan. Yeah, that was a very good game. That was very close. That was a good game. Ugh, Blue Sentinel. I don't really want to kill Blue Sentinel with Glory Seeker. Yeah, Blue Sentinel is good. Victory requires a sharp blade. Heroes go hungry. So by passing, I'm allowing them to play Shivana post combat, but of course I'd have the Culling Strike forward, so they they had to have Sharp Sight to save their Shivana, which I hope they do not. Hope we just able to kill the Shivana. Who does not know the name is kind of messy. Protégé is pretty messy. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. I did just draw this Death Sand. I'd rather trade Death Sand for a Protégé than Glory Seeker. Well, that's pretty awesome. Danger pays. 
Alright, so the good news is got rid of a concerted strike. My spell shield's gone with my saver now. We wear red to honor the fallen. That's annoying. Observe the price of ambition. We were Come on, really? Dragon fire. Ugh, that's that's pretty bad. Do I have to use weight? I mean, I can't use weight of judgment on that, can I? I guess basically playing weight of judgment saves. It saves Sivir, but Sivir is just a five-three quick attack now. It uses mana. I just feel like I have to wait on weight of judgment, but maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't. We'll see. I don't. I hate using this right here. Because we know they have two dragons in hand, and, you know, if it's Eclipse Dragon or Screeching Dragon, that's what I was really hoping they'd play one of those. Lost. Master, your They have single combat, I'm gonna be very sad. Please don't have single combat. Or sharp sight. We know one of those three cards is a dragon. Also, I know this isn't a good ravenous block. Normally, but it does the exact amount of damage to level up Swain. No sharp sight. Nah, <sighs> that's too bad. That's alright. That first attack does level up Sivir though. So it gives the 3 2 quick attack, so like we're not trading. I guess I should maybe I should have had Sivir just attack first, shouldn't I? And then then the Swain would have had quick attack, and then so the Swain would still be a three a four seven. Yeah, so I should have had Sivir attack first. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Ah, gross. Um, you play some defense. Yep, still could have that Swain of 4-7. So that's my bad. Okay, that's over first. I mean, Boomerang Blade doesn't do anything. It just kills It kills these two. And, like, it's the middle two are the important two. It's like Boomerang Blade killing Blue Sentinel and Eclipse Dragon. Time is money. Not really that important. I'd rather just play Leviathan and get Leviathan in play. Open attacking before they can play a better blocker. With these all having quick attack. Ooh, both spells? That's not good. That's not good. Behold my work! Good. Okay, well. Ooh, 
very good hand opponent. Like, that was... They're two really useful cards. Shining gifts from the sky. Arda's gonna make a meal of them! Strength and grace, beauty in the play. A disgrace! Channel our power! Enough. I guess technically it's better to block here. Struggling. All right, so hopefully they just draw a dragon. They just draw a eunuch, so we have lethal. Still lethal. All right, GG's. Man, that was so close. I got scared of those last two cards being that, that Guiding Touch Concerted Strike. Those are great last two cards. Remember this day. So my, my opponent didn't play a single champion that last game. And it was still that, it was that close. I had a lot of champions. Okay, so we're playing against Katarina LeBlanc Ash. You gotta imagine that this is going to be the Legion Marauder version. Is House Spider something that I want? Probably. I guess I'm just taking all of these. Yeah. Yeah, Merciless Hunter, Sand Spinner, those are those are awesome cards for sure. And they do work great with Swain. Um, getting rid of that fearsome blocker, that's a good point. So kind of kind of assuming Legion Marauder for next round. I'm hoping Death Sand kills it. But no attack. That's fine with me. We, we trade two drops. They get one out of five for Ash. I get a one one. Um. Anyone hurt? <laughs> right there, I didn't play House Spider. Because if I play House Spider, then they get to play Legion Marauder and then open attack. Basically, probably probably trading with like Elixir of Iron or, or Troll Chant. They may let it go though because of the stun. Like they could be scared of Flock. Oh, I hate that Grona Logic too. Yeah, so Grona Logic says I played Earth Mode in Labs and they implemented that you can see where your opponent is hovering with their mouse, like in Hearthstone, and gave you anxiety. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I, I I don't like being able to see where. I don't like that being a tell of your opponent knowing where your mouse is. So yeah, I think they were scared of flock. Let the bloodshed begin. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Yeah, I really hope they don't implement that either. Like in regular gameplay, I really hope not. Blade's edge this of that. Might hurt. Do they possibly have like Death's Hand? A second Katarina, like the champion spell is Death's Hand. Death Lotus, sorry, yes. Death Lotus. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, the champion spell Death Lotus. Do they have Death Lotus or Ice Shard? Suppose it's possible. Would kill the Katarina. So I'm basically yeah, so I Yeah, so you're right. You're like you could leave the three one spider back. Like because if it's Ice Shard, it kills it either way. But like those things, it's likely, I mean, they could have, like, one of those plus Elixir of Iron to save Katarina. It's just, it's likely that Katarina dies if, like, this attack. I, I'm not really that mad at trading 
like if it's just like a death lotus or an or a nice shard i'm not really mad at where we're at it was death lotus so it was death lotus and then the elixir of iron to save katarina So we're left with, we both have five cards, but we have the four, two, fearsome in play. So I'm not mad at where we're left. Glory, courage, excuses for war. When you're, Katarina's not great when you're behind. Hey, Monkey Storm, welcome. Yeah, calling strikes an option. See what we see. So, so I want to play the Doom Keeper on this round. And not only do we have the Sand Soldier attacking, but then also now it gives my opponent priority to like uh, extend into one of these two cards, depending on which one we want to play. I guess they do have Frostbite, right? Like, if I tried this Blossoming Blade, they Frostbite. The soul wears away like grains of sand. That could be rough. I'll just play this. Yeah, like Brittle Steel. Even Troll Chant could be a little rough. All right, well, good round for the opponent. That was good defense. That's right. And I'll go ahead and trade these away for three ones. It's not not the best trade, but it could maybe open up my blo my uh, blossoming blade more. Boomerang blade. <laughs> Man. All right, so boomerang blade will just cancel out that um, eight mana card. I will break. Them. I'm good just attacking. If you ain't hurt, you will be. Places to go, people to be. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. Never play fair. All right, so feeling pretty good about this one. Feeling pretty good about where we're at. They're afraid they should be. No reason to block that card. You block it, it just goes back to their hand anyway. We can do this again. You should have run. Come on, boys. Return fire. Should be fine. All right, there we go. That'll do. Three and oh. 
double boat. And only one way. Ooh, Diana of Felios. This will be an interesting game. Let's see what they got. I like the. I kind of like this hand. You know what? Let's do it. Spirit Fire seems like it could be really interesting against. Like, it kind of depends on what they are doing. Um, <clears throat> I, I guess. Actually, you know what? With Aphelios, it's probably not as much of a Nightfall deck. It's probably more of a. This is probably more of a um, Celestial deck, in which case I should, don't need Spirit Fire. So I guess I, I should have mulliganed Spirit Fire. Because with Diana, like with the Nightfall decks, with all like the um, the four ones and three twos and stuff like that, like there's a there's a bunch of great cards for Spirit Fire for that kind of matchup. But I guess we're not really playing that matchup. I don't believe. Wax or wane, we do not fear change. I don't have a good target for my sand spinner now. Okay. Well, now I have a target for the sand spinner. So that's not a bad trade. Trading um, flock for hush. Not bad. Look what good comes of mortal greed. Fall to pieces. I maybe just shouldn't even be trading Sentry away, considering I'm holding Spirit Fire, but we're not, like, we're not playing Spirit Fire in any upcoming turn. Moonlight guide me. Remember when Pel Cascade used to be plus two, plus one? Man, that was broken. All right, so it's a tie game still. Exact tied on mana and cards in hand. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. They did use a Diana's Pale Cascade. Let me put a Diana back. This is looking like a little bit better of a spirit fire now. The Emperor commands the land obey. They should play Aphelios. Not playing into my tricks. Still just take the two for one, but of course both of those cards they played did replace themselves. Everything they got over there draws a card. Gotta find a kid for an acting, right, Arda? Oh, Pale absolutely needed to be nerfed. Plus two, plus one Pale was completely broken. It is still. It's it's a much more much more fair card now. It's still very good, still played all the time. This is the kind of matchup where we will run out of cards though with every single card that they play replacing itself or more. Always forward. That's right. Run.
looks like we are running out of cards because they they should be able to answer like this kind of deck of course can answer leviathan like they maybe have they could have equinox uh they still have a a three or less mana celestial a four through six mana celestial they still have a lot of cards um they could very easily answer leviathan and now they have a seven plus mana celestial Saturday? Okay. Alright, I will play that on Saturday. Obviously, if I would have waited, they would would not have played both of these. So it doesn't look like we have much of a chance anymore. Unfortunately. This is the matchup where we just need, we need a lot more card advantage than what we got. So I guess I'll just play Leviathan and hope they have nothing to stomp it. Because otherwise... Otherwise this game's over. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Good game, opponent. Good game, Targon. I say Noxus really needs draw. I mean, yeah, it needs draw in that matchup. There's many other matchups, as we've seen. Like, we were 3-0 with the other ones. You don't... You don't really need draw except for against Targon Celestials matchups. Like against all like the aggro and mid range decks in the format, you can still get by and get get by pretty fine. What about this Boomerang Blade? I guess we mulligan him. All right, so yes, yeah, so they're using the new uh, Shivana skin, new alternate card art for Shivana. We played this matchup before and won, but also our opponent didn't play any champions. They were going Zoe, Shivana, really and sold. They didn't have any of those. So I'm not expecting that to be the case again. Even though that would be very nice if it was the case again. No, we won't take it, because the Fury! Never mind, Fury. opponent did have that champion with that Shivana and that made things a lot more difficult. I think if I if I pass priority, they just also probably pass. At least that's what I would do if I were them, and I waste all this mana. So I think I have to do this right now. Otherwise I just waste too much mana. Gosh. 
hate how little mana I'm using. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. They have the seven mana seven seven dragon, like it's just it's rough. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. So they've used a good amount of fight spells so far. Is it possible they are out of fight spells? I guess we shall see. They should thank you. I will break them. So they did just draw a sharp sight. They hadn't had the sharp sight before. That's right. Run! If I attack with the Swain, they definitely block with the Screeching Dragon, but I don't want to do that because we, we will draw another Swain this next round, which will be a, uh, a Ravenous Flock. They can hopefully take down this thing. They are nothing. I don't get to cooling strike that. Order, sir, bring forth our army. This is close. Oh, do not hit Equinox. Don't do it. Let's play a unit. Come on. That is brutal. So our Sivir's leveled up if we find a Sivir. Ooh, Boomerang Blade could be sweet. That could be pretty cool. I'm doing vulnerable to that thing because that thing has... Uh, I think can block Fearsome. Eat up some dragons. Okay. Out here, you're moving, or you're dead. Or you're dead. Alright, so let's see. So they obviously block Swain. We are at war. Let's see. No, so yeah, so they have to block Swain, so that's done. They're at 14. That's 5. We'll get our legs in. I guess it's just best to go like that. Is a yeah, I guess this is the best. Guard the walls! Okay, that'll do. That's the thing you know, doing like the overwhelm, but that's the best. All right, so four and one. One against dragons twice. Uh, is Spearfire better than Death Lotus? Honestly, it looked pretty nice all the games that you played. Yeah, I think so for sure. Yeah, I think so. I think that um, 
yeah, I think that the two damage is you know certainly a lot better than the one damage. But that minus two minus zero is really clutch. Yeah, I think the Spirit of Fire looked great, and then of course obviously the two damage and it does it to everything. It does it only the opponent stuff. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Yeah, the Spirit of Fire looked great with Swain for sure. It's another way to reduce reduce power for to help out Culling Strike as we saw there that that last game with the Shivana. That was really clutch, really important. And then, of course, it can also reduce power for, like, your fearsome attackers as well sometimes. Like, with Merciless Hunter, Swain, you can even use it in that respect also. Boomerang Blade looked incredible. Boomerang Blade was definitely the reason why we won a couple of those dragon matchups. Um, so both of our seven mana cards looked really good. Even, like, the Weight of Judgment kind of, you know, it did its thing. Uh, we never really drew Might or needed Might. But, of course, Might is in there to go along with Swain. Um, if you have leveled up Sivir, then, you know, Might's amazing with leveled up Sivir. But I, I could definitely see Might just kind of being some other interaction to kind of help us out more. Or maybe this is where you fit in your card draw um, with Might. Because um, the the Targon matchups with tons of Celestials, that's going to be the biggest problem. Like, the Dragon deck does have some Celestials, but not, like, a ton. Like, they're not really playing Star Shaping anymore. And so those those matchups aren't as bad. Um and so I could see Might being like Preservarium to get a little bit more card draw instead of, but, um, but it looked, but everything else looked looked good. You know, Swain Leviathan did its thing. Um, you know, Merciless Hunter and Sand Spinner are amazing. I'm glad that we had all all the copies of those. Like even like the the House Spiders were really nice to have early on. Everything did it. Everything did really well. All right, so Sivir Swain with a four one in ranked looked great. All right, so those y'all watching later on YouTube. Hit that like button over there, and as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, let me know how the deck goes if you try it out yourself. Just realize that the you'll have one tough matchup with people that play tons and tons of Celestials. We saw that one. That one was was rough because we just don't have the the sheer card advantage to to hang uh, to hold on. But your other matchups um, aren't so bad, and I was really impressed with winning against the dragons twice. Usually, these kind of decks struggle against the dragon matchup, so I was really impressed winning that matchup twice. Boomerang Blade was a big part of that, was a big a, a big card in both both games that we played against it. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Sivir Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.